On March 24, 1944, George Stinney Jr., a 90-pound 14-year-old black boy, and his little sister were playing in their yard when two young white girls approached and asked where they could find flowers. When the girls later failed to return home, a search party was organized to find them. George joined the search party and mentioned that he had seen the girls earlier. The next morning, their bodies were found in a shallow ditch. George was arrested and subjected to hours of interrogation without his parents and nor an attorney. The sheriff claimed that George confessed to the murders, though no written or signed statement was ever presented. George's father was fired from his job, and his family was forced to flee amidst threats on their lives. On March 26th, a mob attempted to lynch George, but he had already been moved to an out-of-town jail. On April 24th, George Stinney faced a sham trial alone. No African Americans were allowed inside the courthouse, and his court-appointed attorney failed to call a single witness. The prosecution presented the sheriff's testimony regarding George's alleged confession as the only evidence of his guilt. An all-white jury deliberated for 10 minutes before convicting George Stinney of rape and murder, and the judge promptly sentenced the 14-year-old to death. Governor Olin Johnson refused to intervene. On June 16, 1944, George was executed in the electric chair in Columbia, South Carolina. George Stinney remains the youngest person executed in the United States in the 20th century.